Hey, it's David with Oklahoma Ham Radio, the YouTube channel, and OklahomaHamRadio.com. Come back over to my normal place here in the shade. Um, I am working on the antenna. I had printed in a previous video um, some spreaders, and now I'm testing them out. So what I've done is I've run a uh, wire for 20 meter, and I've connected it just by pushing it into uh, the little plug there so the cable's grounded out obviously uh, through that plate and I've got a 20 meter wire running up and welcome to the sun in Oklahoma so I don't know that it's the right length yet so we're going to test it out see what kind of SWR I can get so what I've got is nano vna saver running in the house and i've got a ipad that uh, i can connect via wi-fi and vnc into that computer running nano vna that way i can have the ipad outside with me while i'm uh, you know making adjustments on the antenna see the effect on nano vna so uh this is, uh, this is that video. Stick around. So I'm gonna do the best I can to show this. So I've adjusted the 20 meter element and I'm down below two to one SWR across the entire band. And uh, up here shows the Smith chart. So I think that's about the best I'm going to get on that band. Uh, right now all I've done is tucked that wire into that conductor, or into that uh, the wire, the coax, in the center post. And uh, run the cable through the spreaders. And let me show you what I did at the top. So all I did was loop that through the spreader and then heat shrunk it with some uh, adhesive heat shrink that I got off of Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and try the uh, 10 meter element. Then I'll go to the 15 and uh, you know 12 and 17 aren't as important to me. So I'll go ahead and try to get uh, 10 and 15. I've got a plan for 40. I want to keep this pole short. I 3D printed a inductance coil or a, a coil and I'm going to give that a shot for 40. So I'm not for sure how much room that's going to give me at the base of the antenna to put up 12 and 17. But with 40 I should get uh, 15 also. So anyway, I'm waiting for wire to arrive before I can build that in that uh, coil so I can coil load on uh, 40 meters but uh, so I'm 20 meters right now and see I've got an SWR of 1.172 I may be able to lower that just by uh, let's see lengthening the wire just a tad but uh, that's that's sufficient especially on the end of the band that I would be messing with okay so now let's go to let's see what we're at on really the other band I care about first which is 10 I bet we're pretty high on 10 Yeah, see 10 I messed all up. What's going on here is the way that I've attached the 
wires I'm not happy with so I have everything the proper length to a certain point so I've got to figure out how I'm going to uh, attach those wires on the bottom um, anyway I'll probably take a piece of copper and make a ring basically out of it attach the wires to the ring and then attach one wire up from the cable mount spot up to that ring so I'll start working on that and see what I can come up with So, this is where I'm at. This is the uh, sweep of 20 meters. There's SWR. And there's the Smith chart. Doing this off an iPad. So, uh, let's see. Let's go set a different sweep so let's change it to 17 meters this one's not so good but there ain't a whole lot I can do about it actually hold on Well, for some reason, let's try this again. 17 meters, set my sweep range, close this, interesting, anyway, you can see up here, 1.49 SWR, Uh, and the Smith chart. Let's see if it shows up. There's the Smith chart. So 17 is pretty good. I could probably get it a little bit lower, but I don't know how much time I'm going to spend on 17 meter. If I need to, I will at some point, I guess. So the next one is. Let's see, so that's 17, let's go to, I didn't do 15 yet, so let's go down to 12. 12 is the one that's not very good for me. So band sweep, close that. So 12 doesn't show it, but I'm at about 3 to 1 SWR. I don't know why. I think it may be the length of the radials. Smith, Smith chart's not that great. Uh, let's go ahead and change down to 10 meter. 10 meter's not that great either. I think it's usable. Summit 3 to 1 SWR. Again, I think it's probably the length of the radials. There's the Smith chart. Not great by any means. So, anyway, 10 and 12, not so good. 40 or 20 is good. 17 is good. I think 15 will be about like 17 from what I saw on the chart. If I were to just put a radial up, took a copper number six copper wire that I had left over routed around the outside of this so I went underneath the back two and over the front one to give it some sort of rigidity there so you'll notice that hole is empty I'm gonna mount a coil right there 
and do a uh, another 20 meter element and uh, anyway use the loading coil right there probably so I'm going to try anyway you see the uh, top is a 20 17 there's nothing in 15 right now um, right now it's just used to pass those wires through there's the uh, let's see 12 and then 10 meter element and on down to the base so got a I may put another spurter down here to try to keep that wire off of that metal plate some but we'll see I may put that UHF antenna back on top and put and print some more of those uh, rings here to allow myself to guide that that uh, coax down on the back side so that it doesn't interfere with or less likely to interfere with any of those radials that are there another thing uh, I was into robotics quite a bit so I had the solder station and everything for inside I don't have a portable uh, soldering station so it's all sitting out here and been used but I'm gonna solder these uh, elements here just uh, make sure that they stay good then I'll go back through with some hot glue and uh, you know blow them in real good protect them a little bit all right thanks